love London. We love London. Yes, yes. No, we uh, uh, we're so thrilled the show is running uh, here. We we got to be here for uh, some rehearsals and previews of the show, and of course uh, uh, the premiere night. And um, it's a very special, um, magical thing for us as American writers. Um, I, we definitely sort of um, idealize, probably rightfully so, uh, having a show run on the West End um, as Tacky American feel very sophisticated and very classy. We feel like we've written some sort of true work of art to have it uh, play on the West End. Um, and it's been, you know, from the very first time that we found out that the show was going to premiere here, um, we immediately got excited because we know the tradition of theater in this town and, and specifically of the actors here, um, that their regard for text and, their, and the, the way that they're able to um, sort of um, really deeply dive into uh, the text and deliver it in an authentic way um, was something that excited us, um, especially as a musical theater show, but finding a way to make it feel like what we always thought this of, which is like a play with, with music, really, um, much owed to the beautiful um, book by Stephen Levinson. And, and I think it is, like Justin said, there's something about the way theater uh, feels here. It's a, it's a theater town in a way that even New York is less so, I think, you know, people here um, from all strata seem to go to see plays and see musicals and talk about plays and talk about musicals. Uh, it really feels part of the culture in a way that I think in New York we're always striving for and always hoping for, but you know, maybe it's because the ticket prices are so high um, in New York. I don't know what it is, but there's something here that, that still has that feeling um, that theater is, is in the lifeblood of this community. I, I think it really feels like it's been, been a watershed sort of moment in culture where no longer are we pretending like we're all okay, and we're yeah. all happy, and we're all perfect, and we're all this perfectly curated Instagram, you know, picture of ourselves. Yeah. But like, we all are complicated and messy individuals. And Our countries are in very similar moments. Yeah. it feels like. I mean, with with, with the particulars different, and you know, <laughs> just just in terms of polarization, in terms of uh, the way that social media has split people apart and made us feel divided, and. Um, I mean, none of that has to be explained to a British audience. Um, yeah. and, and so I, I think in some ways we are all living in this same world right now. Um, again, for better or worse, like I think a lot of the particulars are different, but, but this, there's a similar sense of, of the way that technology has brought us so close together and, and given us all of these gifts and at the same time really ripped us apart in so many ways and, and taken away so much. And I think we're all still grappling with with the best way to live um, in this world with those technologies.